Hey Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation to learn about Divi's slider modules. Sliders are incredibly popular in the WordPress community and there are a ton of third-party plugins for it, but you might find, and we hope you do find, that the powerful Divi slider module is the only tool you'll need. So we're gonna show you how to add sliders to your posts or pages as well as how to customize them in this documentation video. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of Divi's slider module. Now the Divi slider module makes it really easy to add beautiful sliders to any part of your page in just seconds. The, the module options actually allow you to add unique layouts for your, those images and content that you have. Uh, and you really you can create some amazing slides. The Divi sliders also support parallax backgrounds as well as video backgrounds. And they can be placed anywhere and they'll span the full width of whatever column structure they're in. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the slider module. Right now I'm in the visual builder and I'm editing a page and I have a slider uh, module already deployed here with a couple of slides in it. Let's look at the settings of the module. Um, as you can see, the slider settings have our normal content design and advanced tabs. In the content section, you see uh, I've already added two slides here, uh, but I can add as many as I want. Uh, other elements on the content uh, tab uh, include the ability to show and hide your arrows whenever you hover over the slide. Um, you'll see the, the, the arrow control there pop up. Uh, you can choose to hide that. Um, also the controls down here, the little dots uh, that control uh, your slide, you can uh, choose to hide those as well. You can also choose a default background for all of your slides. This is helpful if you want to maybe have a video background or a regular image and you wanna just slide through some content and keep the, the same background throughout all your slides. You can also use a, a parallax effect on your slide background image, uh, which adds a nice effect. Uh, you could also customize the background size, the image position. Uh, you could also have a, a repeatable image. Maybe you have a pattern image that you want to repeat to serve as the background of your slide. You can do that here. Uh, you can choose to repeat it uh, horizontally or vertically, um, among other ways. And then the, the background image blend is a unique uh, way to style your background images and really create some custom looking um, designs. If you, uh, just to give you an example, uh, if I have a, an image and then I want to go ahead and add a background color as well. Let's go ahead and add this blue here. And so uh, I have both the blue background and this uh, background image and I want to blend those two together. I'll just go back to my image here, to my background image blend, and I'll click uh, some one of these effects I'll just click on luminosity. You can see how it adds a different uh, blend of color to your image and adds a nice cool effect there. And the, under the design tab, I have a lot more options to choose from to customize my slides. Uh, the layout, I can choose to show or hide the inner shadow, which is also something you will see maybe on your sections, um, stuff like that. The text orientation, uh, right now it's centered, but I can choose to make it uh, left align. Uh, the header text, that would be the large text here in your slider, which would coincide to if, um, if I go back to my content section, if I go to one of these specific slide settings, and if I go to my text uh, area here, the heading that I put in for my slide that is what uh, is being controlled there. So let's get out of that. Go back to my options, uh, design options, and header text. So I could change the header text there for my slide. Maybe if I want to make it bold, um, all uppercase, I could do that. 
Uh, body text is the section uh, of content that you have in your actual content box in the content section of your slider. Um, you can change that. The button. Uh, you can toggle to use the custom styles for your button and then go ahead and make those changes. Maybe I want a, uh, a white background with a different color uh, text here. And I could easily customize my button if I wanted to. Aside from the, the button settings, I could also change the width of my slider. I could give it some uh, additional padding uh, and margins if I needed to and add an animation as it shows up as I slide down the page. And of course you have your uh, advanced settings. Uh, here is where you can add your CSS IDs and classes to target it to add some custom CSS from an external style sheet if you wanted to do that. You could also add some inline custom CSS to any of these elements here and target the, the slide, uh, the slider in general, or maybe the, just the slide description, the slide title, slide button. So some additional settings, uh, CSS you could add to these elements. You can also add a button relationship to um, your uh, link in here uh, and, and control the visibility of your slider. Um, you can choose to not, uh, not show your content on mobile or, on, or not to show your call to action here on mobile. And you can also choose not or choose to show the image or video on mobile. So some unique settings there to kind of make it uh, easier to customize your mobile devices and how the slider looks on them. And of course the ability to disable it altogether on certain devices. All right, so let's exit out of there. And let's go ahead and uh, just so we can know uh, how to create one from scratch. Let's go ahead and erase this one. And let's say I wanted to start over and let's add a slider module here. Click on add new module, search for it and find it there. Once I select it, it would be a good idea to go ahead and uh, from the content tab, add a new slide before you start editing all of the settings my new header here button text just put learn more for now and for the content let's just add some uh, mock text um, there let's go down here to my button URL let's just um, put that for now so let's make our, our individual slide image. Um, let's pull it from here. Let's add the one that you've seen before. And, and you can see that this slide image um, shows up on the left side of the text. So um, let me go ahead and add a background color just so you can see it better. So if I added a black background, for example, here, you can see that this is a, a, a way to add images to your header. Maybe you have um, a product or something you wanted to showcase in your slider. And then you could add the uh, what is called the, let me go back here, the, um, the slide image. And adding that here would automatically align it to the left and put your text to the right with the call to action there. Uh, you could also put a, uh, a URL for your slide uh, video uh, here. I'm going to take this slide image out. And let's go ahead and just add a background image here instead of the black background. Let's go ahead and pull that image. And so, and I could uh, choose to add the parallax. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that now. And there's my first slide. So um, maybe maybe go to my design tab for a moment, the overlay here. 
right now uh, I'm adding an overlay so it's dark when I hover over it or actually when it when it's not hover it's actually always gonna have this overlay uh, this will make my text pop a little bit more uh, but if I wanted to change it to maybe a blue and then bring it down some you know I could make a, a whole new design there um, and it looks pretty good if I wanted to use a text overlay I could do that further make my text pop if I needed it um, I could add, I customize my navigation uh, that's the navigation uh, down here actually it won't show up until I have another slide so let's go ahead and save this out and let's duplicate it now you can see my navigation dots down here show up and the the arrow that pops up uh, to scroll through my other slide which is the exact same because I made a duplicate but uh, let's go ahead and make some adjustments to my duplicate maybe giving it um, a different background image it still has my blue overlay color there so I can go to my design tab go to overlay and let's make it you know a darker color um, and I could lighten it up some um, but there you go that looks pretty good my navigation arrows can be customized maybe I need I wanted them uh, I want them to be uh, yellow arrows when I pop up for this slide so a lot of customizations uh, the dot nav I can also make yellow um, let's I could also let's just for the this example I can make my text my header text yellow if I wanted to so you know in just a few clicks I can make some really engaging uh, designs uh, in my slider maybe I want my button uh, to be a different color changing the text color there will make it yellow and uh, you know all the normal customizations you can do to a button are available here for your call to action that's pretty good I'll go ahead and save that one out and now as I scroll through my slides here you can see well there's my overview of the Divi slider module